visit someone in the hospital and happen to pray the 23rd Psalm, that person often thinks that the end is near. It's strange that a psalm that speaks of the Lord God being with us in this life and has a promise about the next so often makes people think of death. But that isn't King David's point in writing this psalm. David writes as a child of God who has no doubt about his future. He writes a psalm that proclaims that fact to him and to you. We like to get lost in the valley of the shadow of death, though. We let our minds run rampant there. Every shadow, every noise, every breeze that blows brings terror and fear. So it's easier then to look for disappointment than for the good things in life, right? Because that's just so much more real. And it's certainly more realistic than hoping that things will be better in the indefinable future, the nebulous eternal life that so much of Holy Scripture speaks of. But go back to Psalm 23 today and look at it closely. David was by no means a model citizen. He had plenty to fear from God because of his own faithless actions. Yet in the midst of all of that, God's promise cut through everything and rings clearly in his ears. Even though, David says, Jesus is with you even though trouble abounds. Because trouble surrounds you, Jesus is with you. The cool water of baptism and the green grass of the all-sufficient word of God are yours because the Lord is is your shepherd. David writes this psalm for you to remind you that the Lord, that Jesus, that your good shepherd is always with you in this life and you need not worry about him abandoning you. He loves you too much to let you roam freely into danger. Don't doubt his presence with you. His promise is greater than your doubts and fears. He's gone through death and into life for you. He has a place for you in this life now and a place where you may dwell in his house forever.